This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Need to ask you about something. Yes? What? So long. I am Medeka. I swear I said nobody. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened? And how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine. I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Card tracks. Rode off into the swamp. got serious memory problems or he's lying.
box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. And you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding, like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. back. Now who are you, and why do you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go and they might live, and fight once more for a free north. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Falta's memory.
faster. What now, you piece of shit? No, Witcher. Folk can say what they will. Me, I'll never forget what you did for us. Greetings. Nothing left but to pray. Oh, Beg evil spares us at least. Come on now. Move it. Not so fast, Roach. Bad time? Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin do that to her? Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But... Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time.
yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell. Yes? Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. Fair sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Yes? Listen. Ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing. No bloodshed. But... You saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes? Farewell. Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell. Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell.
Always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. I was standing at my window, peering at the goings on. He must have been. Because next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran. Got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. A corpse explains the stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Priceless frying pan. Hm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Fry up a nice white fish for
Come on, Roach. Ah, Favor. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love? Hear that? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh... I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. And a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their... Too late. Attacked another one. <laughs> Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Don't have to then. So, can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Was here. 
One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. Nothing to mourn. They were Nilf guardians. They were lads, like ours. Just clad in black plate. Good hunting now. Nilf guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. The corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Beak tips worn, gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done what I could. Should talk to Vesemir. 